welcome once again boys and girls to an evening uh, to an evening full of wonderment here in the Yellow Hippo Studios. Once again, welcome very much to an evening full of wonderment here in the Yellow Hippo Studios. My name is Fred Hello, as you could have seen when you read the signs that I showed and dropped on the floor. Yes, there was some fireworks involved. Those fireworks are finished now. Um, okay, without further ado, welcome very much boys and girls into an evening full of ornament here in the Yellow Hippo Studios. Hosted by me, your host, Fred Hendel, this evening for tonight. Um, what are we going to do? Well, first of all, I have a new beer do. Do you like it? I, 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 I still don't know if I do like it, but this is my new beer do. That bush, bush, little bushy here. I like short here, and I look uh, different, I think, when I look in the mirror. If you look in the mirror, you probably don't look different, unless you had a new beer do, just like I did do. Whatever. Uh, okay, that was. Uh, I have a list there. Uh, you know, we're gonna have a structure. Uh, we're gonna have to have some structure in these videos because they were uh, rather unstructured. So I bought myself a little pencil box. Looks like uh, one of the characters from Cars. This pencil box opens and then you can put pencils in. You know? Make sure you put all the pencils in pointing with the writing end on that side. Uh, why? I have no idea, but that's uh, how it should be done. And that's how I'm doing it. Now I'm going to take out this Sharpie. See, I've, I've been nibbling on this a little bit so it doesn't... cannot stick it anywhere anymore. Uh, this Sharpie. So. Uh, we're going to use, use that Sharpie for checking the first item of tonight's agenda. Uh, beer do. You know, my beer do. Uh, I showed you my new beer do, so that's a check. Uh, next, we're going to have a beer test. Uh, tonight we're going to have a special beer test. Uh, it's from the Dors Persuasion. And um, what I have done, I have poured it. One bottle, oh, I should be very careful with this, I'm afraid that it will go wrong. Oh, there we go already. Uh, into um, eight little shot glasses that I have collected uh, uh, during... Wait a second, maybe I can do it like this, that would be very cool. What, what? There we go, can you imagine if I, if I manage like this? Like, like a true bartender. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, I hope this goes fine. Uh, here's a little shot glass I, uh, I collected from Czechia, uh, Czech Republic. Oh, I don't know if this is going okay. Uh, I should not be such as wuss. Here we go. Just hold it like this, like a proper waiter. Here we go. From Czechia, Carlo Vivari. Uh, one eighth of the beer. There we go. Uh, second one is from Moscow, Russia, Republic of Russia. Cheers. Uh, then we have here, no, I'll wait for that one. I like that one more, so I'll do that later. Here is a shot glass that I didn't buy myself, but I've been there in New York. This was sent to me by my good friend, Larry St. Pierre. Larry, this is to you. I love the shot glass and the other three also. Thank you very much. Um, here's one when I went to London. London. There is a London. And there is a Swansea. London. Cheers. Uh, then we have here uh, Santorini, Greece. Beautiful island. Islands. Greece. There's a lot of islands. Islands and cities and things. Santorini, you should go there and visit and drink beer. They have wonderful mitos there. I think Greece, I think mitos. Sun, sea and cold mitos. Well, this is a shot glass that I have collected from Santorini. Cheers, here you go. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, here! We have the uh, lovely city of Arlington. There's a, a, a Bigfoot dude there. 
sent to me by my good friend uh, Gonzo Gonzo. Uh, thank you. Uh, we had a wonderful night there with uh, Zero playing uh, the Merkwood. Thank you so much. Uh, I love this shot glass. Thank you. And it tastes for everything tastes just better out from this one. And then here we have like I wouldn't know Seattle's Woodland Zoo. Yeah, also filled with a uh, nice beer. There we go. And my, my thumb starts hurting. And one of these, this is the last one. This might be one of my favorites because it looks like a small beer mug. And it's from Osijek in um, Austria, where I uh, tend to go skiing every year. And I just uh, love the little shot glass. There we go. And that was it. Without spilling anything and without dropping any glasses. So that means, that means, ladies and gentlemen, that we can, I can, well I'm the only one here, uh, check the beer test. Check. There's two checkpoints left. Yeah? Uh, one of them is a full sneeze. Um, I don't know how I came up with that the other day, but I was like, wouldn't it be nice if I just like, in one of my uh, YouTube rants, uh, you <coughs> would sneeze, I'm sorry about that, uh, would sneeze all of a sudden. Uh, I thought it would be very nice. No, I'm not gonna sneeze, <laughs> I'm not gonna sneeze again. Uh, but I'm gonna pretend a full sneeze. So here we go. I'm just gonna pretend to sneeze, and are you gonna say if it was a real sneeze or a, a false sneeze? Well, it's gonna be a false sneeze because that's what I've written down. If it's not a false sneeze, I cannot check it and uh, go to the next uh, thing. So here we go. They say you have to look. In, yeah. You have to look, to look in the light to. Um, if you have a sneeze coming up and it doesn't come, you should look in the light and the, and that will come. So I'm going to uh, stand here, oh here, maybe here, I'll look better for the camera on this side, this side. my good side. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to, uh, to fall a sneeze. Uh, you think it comes and then it doesn't, and then it goes away again. Wait, wait. <coughs> ah! Well, fine. Uh, let's forget about that. But okay, let, let. <coughs> There we go, man. Okay, and then I didn't even plan that one. Okay, there we go. Uh, full sneeze. Uh, real sneeze, uh, whatever, sneeze, okay, but I just cried on the and put a sneeze uh, and a checkpoint. Piano! Next, ne next, next item up is, <coughs> next, next item up is piano. Uh, let's play some piano. Uh, like I uh, said uh, the other day, like I said uh, the other day, uh, I'm going to teach you something today, um, which is very nice to do on the piano. Uh, for example, you know, you like uh, nowadays you have all these uh, pianos on all these uh, tube stations, train stations, uh, sometimes at bus stops and grocery stores and piano shops. They also have a lot of pianos there. And you, you just sit down and play and show, uh, oh, look at me, uh, I'm playing piano. Uh, and uh, how, uh, you know, and, and I have, uh, <laughs> uh, I teach uh, people to play piano. I do, I do, I really do, uh, and um, um, and a lot of them are like, ah, if one day I could sit at the piano in in, in a train station uh, or at the bus stop or whatever, and I could just play something, that would be my uh, dream. Um, like, you got a deal, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll teach you how to do that. And there's a lot of things you can play on a piano. Uh, in fact, there is, uh, I don't know how many, but there's a lot of things, like pieces for piano that you can play. 
Uh, and there's also a lot of pieces that you can invent yourself. It's as you said, you get yourself a piano and you, <laughs> that's your, your piece, your, your, your true only piece and thing that you made. So um, that's good. So, but you know, how uh, without going through years and years of education, how do I just sit down at a piano and play something and uh, people will not throw raw eggs at me? Well, uh, today is your lucky day because I'm going to teach you how to uh, make some kind of impression using only three chords uh, that I uh, uh, have written down there and that I will explain to you in a minute and that you can use all over the piano and you can sit uh, uh, at any tray station where there is a piano and bus stop and piano shops and people will be like, oh, that person really knows how to play the piano. And I'm going to teach you that right in a second. Um, I, do I need to prepare something? No, I don't. So, uh, here we go. Okay, excuse me. <coughs> uh, <I'm coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm right. No, oh, whatever. Nobody will believe me uh, if I say it. So, I will not say it. Okay, there we go. Okay, there you go. Uh, I'm going to close the window here. Um, so what, a, where are we? Oh, there we are. So what are we going to do? Maybe I take some, I have a sheet of paper. I have sheets of, I have sheets of paper here in the Yellow Hippo Studios. Once again, welcome very much evening to a wonderful moment of youth and girls. So, um, there are going to be three chords we're going to play. The first chord is C minor. And you know, lazy jazz bastards like myself, they're gonna write it on C M C minor, and that's even more lazy people, more lazier people, and they just write C and a little minus, you know. And I'll write it down also for so C M mm, C M is C minus, yeah. And okay, which notes do you need? You need the C, the E flat, and the G. Well, uh, we're gonna look at those uh, three notes now for a second. So uh, C, E flat, and G. Yeah, I have to look at my G sheet because the rest I will not remember. Yeah. So you know, for everybody uh, out there, I, ma I made this. It's a very rudimentary sketch of a piano. Yeah, and and there is the all the notes and things. Yeah, the names at least. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you. We have C. And then we have E flat, that's uh, located right here. And then we have uh, G. And then we have uh, a B here, I'm going to salute you. So C, E flat, G. But they're not only here, they're all over the place, because here they are also. They pretty much sound the same but a little lower. And then, oh, here's, uh, there's three more. Look at that. And then there's some very low C, G, and then. And there's some very high C, E, uh, e flat, of course. Yeah, e flat. yeah, you hear that? That's already. If you just play, play those three notes, just those three, one chord, there are going to be two more, but let's just say that, that we're stuck with this. Yeah, we're stuck with this. Nothing else but those three notes all over the, you know, you have to locate them on the keyboard. And, and I, I have uh, this there, yeah. So, yeah, C. Yeah, and we have E flat. We have a G. You come. I'll get a little closer. Uh, you combine those three, and either way, they will sound fine.
Yeah? It might sound like uh, something that you like or not, but anyway, th those are just th those three notes. Yeah? Okay. Um, and actually, if you have some kind of imagination, uh, you can go on uh, with those three notes, with those three notes for quite some time. At the station, or at the bus stop, or in the piano shop. wrong. Faux, uh, faux example. It's not a good example. Here we go again. C, E flat, G and nothing else. Stop touching your beard. You. flat G so forget that D I played there uh, it'll, it'll, it'll come in a little later because I was preparing very much and I had an example with that D in it uh, and I just I, I got ahead of things so forgive me uh, please forgive me um, so we're gonna uh, C E flat G Better your imagination, how longer you can uh, keep your place at the piano in the bus stop or at the train station. Um, you can even extend your, your, your moments of fame uh, by adding another chord, and that will be F major uh, minor. And that's uh, F, F minus, uh, no, FM, or F. Uh, minus, as the lazy jazz bastards uh, like myself do, so that's uh, F, A flat, and C. And as you can see, the C is the same note. So we're gonna we're go just gonna add. We're gonna be adding two notes. I have no idea how I should show this, like this or like the other way. Uh, uh, well, I'm guessing like this. So uh, the F of uh, the the C is going to be the same note. Uh, so we're going to add a, a, an F and an A flat. A flat is this one, and the F is this one. Yeah. So now we already have five notes that we can combine any way we want, and it will sound fantastic, especially on a train station or a bus stop or at a piano shop. One more chord, uh, uh, three, uh, one more chord, three more notes uh, to this uh, extravaganza. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna play G, which is G major, which is G is G. So that's G, B, D. 
huh? That, that's why I played that DD uh, uh, a couple of minutes back. So uh, these are the notes from the chords. So those are the chords, so C minor, F minor, and G. Uh, and you can play those notes uh, actually pretty much in any uh, order um, if you, uh, well, if you want. That's, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to play now uh, C minor, uh, all the notes of C minor, then I'm going to play all the notes of F minor, you know, so C is C, E flat, G, and F minor is uh, F, uh, A flat, and C, and then I'm going to play the three notes of the G chord, G, B, D, G major, is that, that's G, B, D, uh, and after that I'm going to uh, make combinations of those chords, of those notes, actually, yeah, and I'm going to use as much of the piano as I can. Uh, I cannot use I cannot use the lowest note here, yeah, the lowest key, because that's an A, but I can use the second lowest note, which is an A flat, which is also here, somewhere on that list. And I can use the highest note, which is the C, which is in two chords, the uh, C minor and the F minor. Yeah? Okay, so without further ado, here we go. C minor, F minor, G major, and after that I'll go nuts and use all those chords. It's not showing, so I'm gonna drop it. Uh, I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna play any other notes than that are marked on that paper that I just threw on the floor, and I'm just now uh, shifting back behind me. There we go. First uh, minute or so, I'm going to be calling out the, the chord that I'm playing, so that you know the notes that you can uh, play. If you want to play it yourself in a restaurant, in a bar, on the train station, at the bus stop, or in the piano shop, here we go. C minor, F minor, C minor, F minor. Major, F minor, C minor, C minor is C, E flat, G, F minor is F, A flat, C, and G major is C, B, D, and then you go back to F minor if you want to. For example, C, A flat, F, C, E flat, G. Okay, this is the time I'm going to stop calling out the chords names, but this is this. I'm play, still playing the same chords. So, this, uh, okay, one more round. So, this is C minor.
Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, be uh, playing anymore. Okay. Um, oh, 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 oh. No go ahead. Do Maginini bana bana bana. Now, okay, here we go. Mm. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna use the notes. Oh. So all these notes that we have, well, the, that we have, that I have, I, I I have written these notes on the paper. Okay. So that's C, D. I mean, if you put them all in order. So that's C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B. Yeah? So these are these notes. C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B, C. Okay, I don't need to play that C because I played that before it. If you use those chords, you know, those three notes on your left hand, C, E, G, C, A, E flat, G, uh, sorry, and then F, A flat, C, uh, and then G, B, D, and then back to C, E flat, G, you can use all the notes, well, well uh, yeah, there we go again, yeah. Yeah, I see those. C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B. Now, to make any kind of nice melodic thing. For example. Okay, um, that's just one little example of what you can do with those uh, three chords and the notes of those three chords. Um, one more? Okay, one more. Why not? What the heck? Uh, after this, I am going to bicycle home. Um, and I wish you all a good night or day or morning or afternoon. Or whatever the fuck you're watching this. Oh, what, what, what did I say? I said, uh, I don't know when you're watching this. Oh, no, no, fuck. Uh, uh, cheers. Here we go. Freddy, what's your language, dude? Here we go. Once again, I'm just going to play the notes uh, that are written down. Oh, focus. Oh, I have to get up anyway. Okay, those notes from those three chords, and those three chords, and nothing else. There we go.
Okay, this just come in. Uh, I just got a question from somebody. So what are you doing here with your left hand? It's a very good question. What I'm doing, I'm playing the C minor chord, C, E flat, G. Yeah. And I'm moving the E flat an octave up. Now, there's some video going around about some sauce uh, left hand. Uh. I'm not trying to uh, uh, copy that or whatever, but uh, the thing, what I'm doing is instead of just playing C, G, leaving the E flat out, putting it here. G, C, G, E flat, G. Play C G C G D, which was also one of the chords. Remember, back to the G and then the E flat. Actually, with this chord, you can already sit at the station on the bus stop. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, one more thing, just the notes, just the chords, C minor, F minor, and G major. And then I'm gonna wish you all a good night because I've been babbling on for minutes and minutes and minutes.